hi guys so today we are going to insert records from excel file through lightning component so currently we are creating this employee object as described in the blog and after that we are creating the respective fields so the one field name is already created by default and rest of all we are creating now after creating all the fields let's add the static resource so this is the standard JS library first we are going to download this yeah open it in notepad then as shown in the blog we need to add one line into this yeah we are just copying that line okay so I'm saving this JS library JS file and after saving this I will upload the static resource So let's create the static resource. The name should be XLSX. You can give it any name but I have given this and reference this okay now moving to second step let's just create one apex class as shown in the block the name should be excel import controller it is the server side call we are making from this I will post another video to explain the code basically we are just reading the excel file in javascript only and then passing it as a parameter and after that we are handling it in the controller and inserting records from controller itself so let's just copy the javascript file controller js I have put the debug logs and comments as well to uh, help you understand the code so this is the helper which we are copying now Okay, so all set so before creating this Excel let's just uh, add our component to the screen home page
okay so i will refresh this page once now we have to click on this gear icon and click on edit page now we just need to search our lightning component here okay this is the excel co excel import we are just dragging and dropping it into required place um, let's just drag it into right side it is okay so now just let's uh, save this and activate this So finally we can see our lightning component. Uh, let's just create one excel file now. Okay, so it is opening. Let's see what columns we need to add here. Yeah, so these are the different columns these are nothing but the fields which we have created as uh, you see user cannot see the API name so we are having a different headers a little bit and then inside the code we are using this uh, JSON class and JSON deserialize method to make it into a proper form and renaming the columns uh, and then mapping it to the fields so I will put a separate video to explain the JSON concept okay for now we are saving this excel file and we have added one record yeah the extension should be xlx xls okay so let's just add okay first let's see how many records are there as we have created this employee object right now so there should not be any records okay so inspector says there is no record for this object and let's just import this file uh, yeah successful so it is in the console right now 